was over here and you paying for pussy and you stuck in You ever had toxic sex with a female? That black nigga was straight dog or her shit. No. Ooh, this seat is cold as hell. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it be, bro. Everybody feels like they're just so nervous to say how they really feel. The cameras, the lights, everything. Yeah. Like that, that gets a little bit of the jitters. But I promise you, that bitch blow, you like, ah. It's not too bad. It's not, not crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody wants to be in front of these lights, bro. No cap. Everybody want to be able to talk about themselves and express themselves. And that's why this show does so good. Of course, you know, we can listen to fucking Joe Rogan. I ain't got nothing wrong with Joe Rogan. But we can listen to Joe Rogan talk to a crazy celebrity, you feel no me? Cap. And it's like, yeah, that's cool. It's going to get views. But what about an average person, bro? A regular ass nigga. A regular ass nigga, bro. How he feel? You know what I'm saying? No cap. Why are we caring about, why are we caring so much about what millionaires feel, bro? Yeah. That's not the majority, bro. What the fuck? Uh, and even when, even when this shit blow, and let's say niggas is really getting money, that shit don't change. No. You feel me? Like, <laughs> no. no. It's still the same. If anything, it just gets a little worse. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, bro. You feel me? Like That's how it is, bro. And so even when this shit really gets up or whatever, whatever, bro, like, I'm still going to be interviewing regular ass people. Regular bro. ass people, bro. That's what's up, though, because it's like, all right, Nardwar, for example, bro. Shout out Nardwar. No cap. Shit, I forgot Shout about him. Nardwar. Oh, right? God. He do his research, too. Hell yeah, deep ass no research. No cap. How'd you get on him? That's a good question, bro. <laughs> I think it was like Just like scrolling through Instagram or some shit This man pulled out Intel that he didn't even know About himself type yeah. shit And I'm just yeah. like yeah. Word bro Yeah That's amazing though People can actually pull up That much information about you Half the time scary. You don't even remember it yourself It's a little scary Hell you know yeah what I'm saying? That's what they always say bro The internet's forever man You feel me Whatever you put on that shit It's, it's gonna be there forever Somebody's gonna be able If they dig deep enough They're gonna be able to find that bitch I feel bad for all the OnlyFans models right now Cause Ooh. when they have kids bro And when the kids get older it's gonna be bad for them, bro. My heart goes out to them, man. Just imagine like, they kids walking around. It's like, yeah, I remember your mom. <laughs> oh, bro, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. And it's fucked. Like you say, that's fucked because it's like I'm not a big advocate for OnlyFans. I'm gonna be yeah, honest. Yeah, I feel that. But because me personally, I don't pay for. No. <laughs> you feel me? I, I don't do that. You feel <laughs> me? <laughs> but, you don't need to. <laughs> if you gotta pay for pussy, bro, you, you need to. Prioritize your priorities. Bruh, I was literally just talking to somebody about that, and I said, "Man, like people who are paying for pussy, people who are paying for like the online calls and shit like that, bro. Like, yo, those are lonely men. You are a lonely man. Stupid. That is okay. It's okay to be lonely, Stupid. but it's not okay to spend your hard-earned money on somebody who don't care about you, bro. On some pussy. On some pussy. I don't want to say it too much for the cameras, but yes." <laughs> <laughs> yes And it's like Dog like We can do so much better You need some confidence you Need some confidence You bro. feel me No some, some need more than just confidence You know Get your swag up a little bit yeah. Talk game yeah. Shit like that yeah. A little smooth shit but Get a haircut Get a haircut You know what I'm saying Get your haircut <laughs> <laughs> Somebody get some beer needed to hear that Go get know? a haircut Exactly Somebody needed to hear exactly. that Somebody needed to hear that <laughs> shit, fucking bro. haircut <laughs> Going back to it, I will say I'm not the biggest advocate for OnlyFans, but I do understand that sometimes you got to do what you got to do to get some bread. It's the same thing as stripping. Yeah. The only yeah. thing is, a stripper, she can go from one town to another town. They don't know she stripped. You Never know. know. Went ahead and reinvented herself, got a whole nother family, got a whole nother life, and she done made the bread that she needed to do. She had to do the things that she had to do, which is kind of traumatizing, honestly. <laughs> yeah. And that shit kind of traumatizing. <laughs> <laughs> but she had to do those things and she's living with that on no her cap. own. The difference is with OnlyFans, they can't live with that on their own. No. no now you got a whole other bunch of people consistently pushing that in your face. That your reminded me. Face. It was either Mir Khalifa or like Miss B Nasty. Shout out Miss B Nasty. <laughs> I don't <laughs> angle cap. Shout out. But she made a post, bro. She was like, yeah, every time I walk out of public, I can, I know y'all have seen the inside of my asshole. And I was just like, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Jesus. But then I started being real about it. I'm just like, yeah, honestly, it's, it's true. She walking out broad day, yeah. she can have clothes on. Everybody looking at her like she butt ass naked. Yeah, that's facts. Which is sad. Bruh. It's sad. Because it's now you got people objectifying you for something that you are trying to do for your career. Aww. At the end of the day, it's a job. It's a job. 
That now, goes. it's a job that people look down on sometimes. No for sure. No, no cap. cap. But at the end of the day, it's a fucking job and niggas got managers. Don't be fooled. Niggas definitely got managers. Bruh. Niggas definitely got marketing teams. Definitely, niggas bruh. definitely reviewing your DMs. Definitely you got to them. Nigga, it's a nigga looking at them shit. So <laughs> yeah, no cap. Like, you no feel cap. me? All that shit is being seen. Exactly, being bro. Seen, bro. You feel me? So, like, don't be fooled, bro. This shit is an industry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, we got to really be real about ourselves, bro. So, for them man, you, man, who is over here and you paying for pussy and you stuck in porn, my guy, break out that shit, please. Break it, break, please. 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 Talk to somebody, please. Go see the world. Yes, it's a big world out there. <laughs> you got to suck your chicken all the time. You got to suck your chicken all the time. No, no man. Nah, you know what I'm saying? There's somebody the for everybody. Yeah, bro. At the end of the day, bro, it don't matter what you are. It don't matter if you feel like you ugly, bro. I seen this video. It was this guy and he was known for being ugly. Word? Yeah, he was known for being ugly, bro. He went viral for being ugly, bro. You talking about me, is you? No. no. Uh, <laughs> I had to make sure, bro. I had to make sure, bro. Nah. Make sure, make sure, Hell no, nah, bro. Sure, bro. Nah, bro. You're not even an ugly nigga, bro. You right, you right. What's you he right. talking you about? Right, you right, you got right. the chain Appreciate on. You, you see me? Appreciate you, bro. Oh, Appreciate bro. You, bro. Come on, Appreciate now. We got to big up our people, bro. bro. But anyways, yeah, like, it's a guy, and he was known for being ugly, right? Yeah. That man got married last week. Word? Word. Made a video. It went big, I think. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. And so he was like, he was thanking everybody and shit. He was like, yo, like, you know, even though I was, I went viral for being ugly, I still found love. And that's the thing, bro. There's love for everybody, bro. So y'all can't be out here letting your anxiety, and I know it's a real thing, but letting your anxiety get in the way of your love, bro. Mm -hmm. Somebody mm -hmm. like you. It don't matter mm -hmm. if you big as hell, nigga. Somebody like you, nigga. You feel me? No cap. No, let's see. <laughs> this nigga pull some of the yeah. some, some right ones now. Yeah, some right that's ones. what I'm saying. Right that's ones. what I'm saying. Tell me about your experience pulling people. My experience, bro? Yeah, your experience pulling, bro. Eh, it's not like a thing where I like, all right, I ain't gonna count. It's been, it's been times where like, all right, everybody had a whole stage. You know what yeah, I'm saying? So. It's different from back then, bro. Back then, it's just like, you ain't have to worry about that one female talking about eight different niggas. You know what I'm uh, saying? Yeah. So it's just like me, I'd rather see how you move and see how many niggas you fuck with and yeah. let you, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. over time, bro, everything reveals over time. So it's like whatever she had underneath that blanket will slowly mm -hmm. reveal itself type That's shit. Big facts. So me and my eyes, I'd probably just like rather wait that shit out and see how you move. And if she going around, going on the right way, I can, you know what I'm saying, take a little further. But so. for one, if you one of them girls and you outside with them ghetto bitches listening to your friends all the time, Ooh. you cut. You know, I said you cut. I literally just might hit you and leave. I will fuck you and leave. Damn, Real shit. bro. Oh, fuck you. Damn. And leave. Okay, shit. but why? Why? Yeah. Bro, why you even hitting? Why you even hitting if you don't fuck with it? Because of the fact that sometimes some of them be looking like, damn, bro. You know, it, uh, some, it should be looking right. Be looking like, damn. It should be looking bro. right. You say, bro, I can't. Right. I got I, you. I smirk. You know what I'm saying? And some I girls be on that why shit. Why you say it so calmly? <laughs> <laughs> bro, I mean, sometimes yeah. you gotta be calm about that shit. Yeah, for sure. Because otherwise, like. Like, if you show too much energy when you get the <laughs> facts, that shit, bro. It's you facts, you can't energy, show too much energy. That's weird, though. Definitely. It's weird. Definitely. You can't be too excited about the fact that I like talking to you. You what? stupid. Or you, or you might run away, which is crazy, bro. Yeah, for sure. I ain't never been that type of guy to, like, that hide. Mm. Like, if I want to talk to you, you gonna know I want to talk to you. Like, mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you all that shit. Mm -hmm. I'm not so, one of to hold that shit back, bro. You're being you, you know, yeah. unapologetically. And that's the issue that a lot of men run into. You know yeah, what I'm saying? that's true. Because it's like, yo, like, I don't feel like I can be me okay cool i'm gonna try to be another persona you feel me just to try to slide in some cheeks you feel me mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like nah bro you're gonna find somebody who really fucks with you by being you because somebody gonna match your energy that's true it just might not be this girl and you gotta take that l everybody take it everybody take man i done took a few l <laughs> yeah. i done took a few of them a few exactly. l's bro exactly see now it's a w because yeah. of the fact that they were l's then and i done came back from that shit yeah you for know sure. what i'm saying for i sure. was losing when i was with her. Yeah. But now I'm winning because I ain't got the bitch no more. And I ain't with her. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Got you. Got you. Got Type you. And those are all learning lessons, bro. Those yeah, are learning no lessons. Cap, you feel me? No cap, you got to go through that shit. And so, like, <laughs> and I hate to say it, bro, but every nigga got to have that come to Jesus moment where he, like, bro, I hate this girl. You know what I'm saying? She did me wrong. She did X, Y, Z. Fuck. I, did, I should not have did that, bro. You stupid. should not have did that, bro. I had too many of those moments, bro. Way too many. And it's crazy, though, because my bro can tell you right now almost all of the moments that has happened. I swear to God, both my brothers have been there for me through all them bullshits. And it's really? like, bro, why are you even fucking with these females? Like, yeah, bro, because we can't help it sometimes, bro. We get no lost cap. in the sauce. No cap. You know what I'm saying? Love, man. Love, love. will do it to you. Love will Ooh, do it to you. Oh, my God, man. Love. Love or lust. Love or lust. 
right. lust. Love or lust. There we go. There we go. <laughs> 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 I swear to God, bro. You find yourself really in love with a chick, bro, and all of her red flags turn a little pink. They turn a little green. You know what I'm saying? Green, like, you know, you know, maybe I do like a little toxic shit. It's a little exciting. Nigga, you playing lie, yourself. I ain't gonna lie. I do, I do like a little, sometimes a little toxic. Sometimes you like some toxic shit? Some toxic, some toxic. What's some I toxic lie, bro. You, ever, you ever had toxic sex with a female? What do you consider toxic sex? Before <laughs> I agree, before I like, agree. <laughs> I'm talking like both of y'all just getting a full-blown argument, and right after the full-blown argument, you like, fuck that, I want my dick so And she's just sucking your dick right there What? Yeah, bro, I've been That shit happened to you? Bro, I've been there, bro What? Multiple I'm times? Dead. Jesus Bro, Jesus. I've been there I've had females, like, straight up Literally put their hands on me And all uh, full-blown argument Put their hands on? What do you then, do? And then, bro, I be chilling <laughs> I, What? I, I be chilling, bro I'm not one of them niggas Like, I don't put my hands on females Definitely mm-hmm. not, bro I was, so? never, I was raised by straight women, bro Yeah Never yeah. put my hands Same. on females I got two older sisters Yeah you No, know, definitely Because the fact. moment a nigga put their hands yeah, yeah, these. Yeah, 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 for sure. I mean, but shit, take it how they want it. If anything, I say those relationships are just like right person, wrong time kind of thing. And mm-hmm. when it came to us needing our own separation, our own space, we wasn't able to have that. Mm-hmm. So it, it, everything just kind of collided type of thing. Got you. You know what I'm saying? Got you, got you. We're going to go back to toxic sex for a second. Oh, yeah. All right. When it comes to toxic sex, yeah. right, how do you feel? After the moment Do you feel resolved? Do you feel you, like You really got that bitch out? See that's the thing Now Sometimes Depending on how I feel Like if I just want to Fuck all that You know what I'm saying Sometimes yeah, 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 niggas yeah, just yeah. be horny Yeah, yeah for sure horny, You know what I'm saying For sure So it's just like Sometimes I may just want to Like alright man I've been wanting to fuck all day Fuck it I'm gonna just do that shit Cause I've been horny You know what I'm saying For sure But then again Sometimes it's just like Man I ain't even in the mood For this shit You see how I'm feeling as a man And now you just trying to Throw pussy on me Like it's gonna cure everything Bro we are not meat We are no. not a piece of meat bro No <laughs> First no. of all I want to go ahead Definitely and say that, not. bro, because we we have feelings, we have brains, and I swear to God, sometimes people just try to throw pussy on a situation and think that it's gonna make it better. And, they and don't. it's crazy though, bro. I've been in relationships, bro, where like females would throw me pussy just to cover up some certain shit. Yeah, yeah, that's facts, real shit, that's facts. And so that's the things that you got to like. Those are the red flags. Like some niggas will Definitely, be like, bro, bro, like you know, you talk, you turn away pussy, bro. Like what you talk about? You know what I'm saying? No, nah, bro. bro. Not all good sex is good sex. I've seen a Definitely. lot of people who have gotten like twisted up in the wrong girl just because it's some good sex and like bro it's not all about that man you gotta mature out of that Ain't gonna cat with you Not even just that, bro Sometimes they just get lost In that shit, bro Alright, back to the ugly nigga You was talking about, right? Yeah, for so sure So you give an ugly nigga One of the baddest bitches, bro mm. And he ain't never felt that Or she made him feel Some way he ain't never felt before, bro He will get lost in that I got an example for you There's this guy There's this Twitch streamer, man I'm pretty sure his name is Neon Or something like that, right? Yeah. And so he got it I guess to other people Me, personally I'm a real picky person I'm gonna be for real with you So I don't, I don't view a lot of people As... Attractive, you know what I'm saying? No I don't even say the word pretty, bro. No so like, <laughs> no cap. No cap. <laughs> mind you, I got nothing against neon and shit like that, bro. I'm just relaying the fucking story. Yeah. But like, went ahead and said that she was just sleeping in a bed with another nigga, but like she didn't have sex with the dude, but she oh was just God. sleeping in the bed. Oh. With, and they trying to tell, bro, like, bro, like, and plus, plus she got her OnlyFans and shit. <laughs> and they trying to tell, bro, like, bro. She don't fuck with you, bro. No, bro. She with you for money. Mind you, he a big Twitch streamer. Like, then they nah, getting bad. Bang, you know what I'm saying? They trying to tell him, bro, like, nah, bro. She don't fuck with you, bro. Nah. She definitely was fucking on you, bro. Like, <laughs> and she told you she's celibate, nigga? Nah, guys. <laughs> like, you might as well kick her out, let her hit the streets. Yeah, bro. Which is sad, though. It's definitely sad, you feel bro. Because it's like that man trying to build up his bank. That remind me, it's like the damn, well, I ain't going to say it's like it because it's almost similar like the Adam situation. Oh, the Adam 22? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, yeah. I would Which, never, ever put myself in that situation. Mm. And it's crazy because me and my boy was at work talking about that shit. Okay, for sure. And for how sure. he was describing the angle cap. I ain't never seen the video. So, bro was like, she was straight dog of her shit. He was what? like, you know, I swear to God, he was like, that black nigga was straight dog of her shit. And I'm Damn. like, Damn, bro. You know, he was probably waiting on that bitch, too. You know what's crazy, though? What? Adam recording. They said that nigga Adam was recording, bro. Ain't no way that nigga was recording, bro. Ain't no way that nigga was recording. Yeah. Hell nah. No, bro. I mean, that's cuck, though. That's a cuck behavior. That's a fetish. That's a whole fetish, bro. If you got fetish like that, you might as well say, bro, gay or some shit. Or, bro, like, oh, bro's like, bye. But see, look, and that's the weird thing, bro. There's a whole community that they just like watching their woman get fucked. I can't do it. It's crazy, bro. Unless it's crazy. Nope. Yeah, nah. No. I, so I asked my nigga, bro. I said, hey, yo, bro. If a guy said, I give you a band, <laughs> right? 
<laughs> you already know I'm good. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. But God said, I'm, I'll give you a band, bro. If I fuck your girl, bro. You know what I'm saying? You can fuck my girl too. You taking that bitch? He didn't even think about that shit. He said, Hell no. Nah. He said, but I'll take the band and fuck his girl though. No cap. Wait. No cap. Yeah, you get no what I'm saying? No cap. Because, no like, cap. bro, like, at a point in time, and this is just me and my perspective, because yeah. everybody is deserving of their own perspective. And some people really like that shit. I'm not here to dog you, bro. I'm just saying, that's not for me. <laughs> but <laughs> <I'm easy. laughs> it's just like, there are certain types of people that really is just like on that shit. And so I think Adam really just kind of like gave into it. I don't really think that that nigga's a cuck. I'm going to be honest with you. Probably not. But I think that he really just wanted her to be able to make some money and she was consistently trying to do this shit apparently since he brought it up to him etc etc because she do this shit she do wait cuz you said he br she brought it up to him she brought it up to him bro i'm pretty sure she brought it up to him bro you right you know ain't no way he just come out of nowhere like yeah, you wanna go fuck this yeah, exactly bro that's <laughs> you a cuck bro like, you, you suggest somebody fucking your girl you are a cuck it's yeah. okay but you're a cuck you know Definitely. what i'm saying but she does so she was like, yo, I think this will be good for my business. He wasn't with this shit, allegedly. He wasn't with this shit for a minute. But then they got married and shit like that. And he said, all right, cool. Bro, I can do it, bro. Yeah, I man. I can do it, bro. That's not me. Because it's not just me. like somebody walking up to my girl while I'm dating her and be like, I got 500 or some change. You know what I'm saying? I got some shit. Yeah. Like, I, got some, I got some bread for you, basically. Yeah. Some big shit. Yeah, that's All you got to do is just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude. that's facts. And it's crazy, though. I actually had a girl, bro. I had an ex. I asked this shit, bro. Basically saying, like, basically trying to see if she'll sell her pussy type shit. Really? I she asked, asked you? No, I asked oh, her. Oh, you asked I her. Asked her. Sell I pussy. asked her. Okay, got you. So I was like, basically saying, the question was, was like, all right, how much would you let a nigga eat for type shit? She was okay. like two fifty. Wait, only two hundred dollars? She was like two fifty. Like, I was like two fifty. Like, you gonna let you gonna suck balls and all type of shit? For two hundred fifty dollars. Like, she was like, hell yeah. I'm like, that's a low price. For two fifty, you gonna milk. suck balls and all that little slutty shit? He gonna want you to do? She's nigga, like, that's yeah. like not even a check, bro. <laughs> you feel me, bro? <laughs> that's not even two weeks of work, bro. Oh, that's really? like, like that's literally for four days of work, bro. Like, they made me look at her so and it's. Crazy. Crazy though, bro. Please, those questions y'all feel like are like y'all shouldn't be asking. Niggas, ask them shit to them ladies, bro. Yes, please ask. Cause real shit, they gonna be a hundred about that shit. Yeah, that's And facts. then you can tell if they gonna throw you in a loop for that shit. Cause the moment they tell you wrong, they gonna show you when it's right. That's full facts. That type shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, they gonna show you. But I would never, bro. I could have. I stopped talking to that bitch then, bro. Really? Hell yeah. But bro. I mean, I understand that, bro. Because uh, first of all, you are actively telling me. That for a low amount of money, I will do this. You get what I'm saying? And some people can say that that's a trap. I don't think that's a trap because I'm trying to get where your mindset at. You feel there me? There are some girls who say for nothing. Like I'm not doing that shit at all. You feel me? And so like that's the type of people. Shout out to the real ones. Shout out to those. That's the type of people that I would want to be a part of. No cap. Where no no nigga can give me no money. I don't no care cap. if this nigga throw bands at me. No no cap. nigga can give me money. Like I'm sorry. That's that's a moral sense. You know it's crazy, bro. What's that? All right. Think about the type of love songs women. Make made back then bro okay think about the type of songs any woman made back then it's rare that you heard a, a song by a woman that's not intimate or deeply in love with the man that's or with someone or with another person that's fact but now love was days, a big thing yeah love is some type of real form of love within it now it's yeah. just like eat my coochie front of back i suck dick this that and the yeah, third yeah, like, yeah, yeah. bro yeah it's... back then y'all used to get shamed for this shit now y'all expressing this shit as if it's okay now do you think that people should still get shamed for it I mean, slut shaming is a thing. It is a thing. <laughs> slut it is shaming a thing. is a thing. For sure. So, more so not shamed for it, but not judged. One thing we have a big problem with, as in like America in general, bruh, is just like, we, do, we don't have open mindsets. We don't have. Respect. We don't have the mindsets of being like, they're their own person, so I should be my own, you know? Mm -hmm. It's a, oh, word. They're their own person. I like how they doing it. I want to try how they do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I sure. heard this sounds okay, so I want to see if they did it that way. And you know what I'm saying? It carries mm -hmm. on like that and that's just how life is you know mm -hmm. yeah. i seen a post bro and it was like all right back then the reason why it was so important for a black woman to cook food for that man is because of the fact of 
back then during slavery days, men, we were treated like shit, of course. Black yeah. people in general, we were treated like shit. Yeah, it's facts. But for a man, keep in mind, as a man on, outside working on that field and doing things like that, yeah, shit's different nowadays, but yeah. you gotta you gotta compare it to now, right? Yeah. So back then, we were getting beat the fuck on, all that other crazy shit, but mm-hmm. what we came home to was our home-cooked meal. Yeah. So being the fact that we came to home to a home-cooked meal, we felt loved, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. I ain't gonna cap, that's my love language. I love it when a female cooks for me. Shout out to you, you know expressing love languages. Love that shit, love yeah, that shit. for sure. So it's just like, if I come home to a home-cooked meal, I'm gonna feel love. Nowadays, it's just like, all right, we have too many different ways of showing that we love. Mm-hmm. We verbally, physically, mentally, mm-hmm. even by actions. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? A hug. Actually, it's crazy, though. I had an ex, bro. She wasn't with the I love you shit. Mm-hmm. Unless, like, you know what I'm saying? But really? Tough love, real shit. Mm-hmm. Real shit. Damn. But I could tell she loved me in some form or way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she would do sure. small things. For sure. Fellas, we need to realize our ladies' love language because of the fact that if not, we won't realize the shit that we actually need to take in so we can tell our ladies, like, look, we see that you are doing well. We see that you are trying to show me that you love. You got to be able to do work on your end to be able to help the relationship. Yeah, you feel yeah, what I mean? yeah. Like, that whole love language shit, bro, that's for real. Yeah, And so, like, me. whenever you can understand what your love language is, you can also help understand who you're looking for and Definitely. what you're looking for in a person. Definitely. You feel me? And that's also, like, along the lines of social media, bro. I seen a post that was, like, cartoons. Thinking about the cartoons we was watching back then, bro, like, Dexter. Dexter, mom, thick as fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's fact. It was, that's like, facts. it was basically saying, like, uh, I blame cartoons for uh, my choice of women. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. it's just, like, maybe that does play a role. A role. It, yeah, for you know sure. Because we're young and impressionable. Who is bro? the one that looks the sexiest? Because they make the them sexiest. look sexy. You know what I'm saying? It stands out the most. Exactly. You know? And they're going to give them more screen time. They're going to make them the love interest. So as they're making them the love interest in the cartoon, they're also making them the love interest in our brains. You feel me? Now, if we would just put that in real life, right? Yeah. Boom. So we're looking at a group full of females. The random ass question, mm-hmm. who you think got the most pussy? Looking at all four of them girls. She bad as fuck. Most of them niggas gonna be like, yeah, she fine as hell. And my eyes, if I was to look at it, yeah, all them niggas trying to bite with her, I'm gonna go with the almost the ugliest one, but you know what I'm saying? Like uh, right in between type gotcha, of shit. Ain't no niggas hitting on that. Ain't no niggas hitting that. Ain't no niggas hitting that. that. You know how she went yeah. as hell. Yeah. And then you gotta be picky too, cause it's like, all right, she clean, she look like, you know what I'm saying? She like she keep up with yeah, herself. Yeah, she like yeah. that. You gotta be pick up, you gotta, yeah, you gotta sure. keep up with shit like that. Bro, I ain't gonna Once count you. A lot of people dirty, bro. No cap. A lot of people dirty, bro. But I ain't gonna lie, man. <laughs> You'll be surprised how many females I've heard are on fire. For real? Pissing rockets, nigga. Damn, that's sad. You would be Damn, surprised. Damn, there's a lot of bro. SCDs going on around, though. Ain't gonna you. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Please stay strapped up. Rap that because shit. that shit is serious. It's not a joke, bro. Like Rap that you shit. will end up with some shit that you can't get rid can't of, get and rid then of. you now you fuck and you struck. You know what I'm saying? And then you looking like, damn, why I hit this bitch? Exactly. Hell. Exactly, yeah, bro. Fuck. And that's not a situation that you want to get into, bro. Please, bro. Honestly, some people get papers, bro. You know, <laughs> when you come to like <laughs> when it comes to like some of these situations, <laughs> they say, Hey yo, I need papers, bro. Papers. It's crazy. Bro. Yes, man. Let me know that you clean. I need that shit from the doctor, nigga. I don't need that Patience shit from your word. I actually had a female like that. And it's really? crazy. I, I never wanted to fuck with her after the fact that, though, because it of, um, I figured out how many niggas she actually fucked. So do you think that her having the experience of asking for papers translated to how many people that she's been with? I mean, for if sure. anything, in my eyes, it's just like she's trying to stay clean. For sure. keep in mind, I mean, I'm going to ask her for her shits, too. Yeah, I yeah, know yeah. how many niggas you fuck. Yeah. I know how many niggas bigger than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably double what I think. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Double. That's great. Hey, yo, J. Cole think. said, bro, just what? Double that bitch? Du- Hey man, it is what if it it's is. If double, I'm a double the protection. If that, I might not even. If I gotta do all that, bro, I ain't gonna wanna fuck. Yeah. Hell no, nah, bro. If, yeah. I, if I think I gotta wear two condoms to fuck your pussy, girl, get the fuck out my face. Wearing two condoms is crazy. Please don't wear two condoms. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> First one gonna break, and the second one gonna break exactly. on top of it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You're just helping that bitch break. Please don't do that shit. But, like, and you know, even on this topic, man, because I don't speak much on it, but I will say, at first, back mm, maybe like five, six months ago, something like that, it was a real big topic. 
of like body counts and shit like that, man. Yeah. And I'm gonna be for real, bro. Whenever I was younger, I was like, you know what? At first, that wasn't even a question with me because I didn't think about it. You know, I'm be honest with you. Yeah, um, type shit. But then when I started getting more uh, aware of that and stuff like that, I was like, okay, cool. Like, you know, maybe that could be a conversation. Yeah, But definitely. as I get older, I'm like, bruh, if me and you are 28, 30, 34, let's just be mature and adults here. Mm -hmm. Me and you both know we've been around. Mm -hmm. It's 28 years. Mm -hmm. Years, nigga. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but we all were pretty sexually active mm -hmm. around like starting from 16. <laughs> Sometimes it was lower than that. You know what I'm saying? So you <laughs> You gotta think about bro like that's at least 12 years of getting whatever experiences you was getting in bro i'm sorry bro like i'm not i'm not gonna trip about something like that i'm not even gonna ask oh something like God. that i'm gonna be for real oh, I, 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 i'm gonna still ask now you gonna ask i'm still ask now okay all right only reason i'm gonna ask now because if she give me the number three or five she fucking lying you don't think that she could have a three or five it depends on how she is and how she moves really she, yeah bro if, if you downtown every night and you telling me you only got three bodies or five bodies Bitch, you lying. Well, you are lying. But she could just be going out to, to the club. Bro, I've been in that situation, bro. Okay. I've been in that situation. Shorty told me she had five bodies. In the midst of that, her cousin told me she's seen two niggas she fucked. Why are we down there? Okay, yeah. So the odds of you only having five bodies and then two of the people are right here. You know what I'm saying? That, that only gives you slim three. Fuck. Yeah, that only gives you three for the rest of your life. And then out of nowhere, out of nowhere, you tell me it's two more? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, Hold fact. on. Slow your road. That is facts. Well, we got to stop capping, though. But yeah. I think in order for us to be able to stop capping we need to create a society where it's not judging that i talked to one of the one of the previous guests here right yeah said the only reason why people lie is because they're afraid that too you know what i'm saying afraid of being judged if afraid, afraid of being of, judged afraid of how they're gonna be looked at exactly so if we can create a society where you are not gonna be judged for saying that i got 24 bodies then they're gonna say okay cool i got 24 bodies but because we got this society where it's like hey yo if you say you got 24 bodies i am not fucking with you nah, then they gonna say ah, five <laughs> like, nah, like, for real. Five. you know what i'm saying <laughs> you think about which number to choose three five five yeah exactly exactly nah. it's like nothing <laughs> Too abnormally low. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I've got a little experience. Exactly. Little. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You feel me? So that's that's on everybody at the same time. You feel me? And that that's definitely, definitely. I don't know. We gotta do better when it comes to that. But just imagine like, all right, five years from now, bruh, a lot of these females probably ain't gonna have that shit no more. So it's like you yeah, end up facts. meeting a meeting a female, it's just like you end up fucking with her and then boom, you find out she got an OnlyFans, and once you find the OnlyFans, she got a list of videos. And but is you gonna Care if that shit was 10 years ago. Fucking yes. Okay. It's just something with me like, all right, that's just like me dating Miss B Nasty or some shit. Or, okay. or Mia Khalifa. You me know what I'm saying? Oh, shout out Mia Khalifa, like, man. Yeah, that yeah, was a yeah, sad, definitely. sad story that happened to her. Definitely, definitely. Like, if I was to date her doing her prime season, you know what I'm saying? Her prime season. Doing her prime season. <laughs> you know, her prime when season. she was <laughs> tossing out them buckets, yeah, you, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If I was to date her doing then, it's just like, I'm walking, all the attention is just looking at me like, who is this nigga? And then they're just like, oh, let me see if I can. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, don't like that. They just giving her that look like I see right through you. I'm going to feel you. uncomfortable then because I don't want no nigga giving my girl that look. Like, yeah, I, I done you. seen all that. I done seen you squirt, gum, so dick, all that shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that. Yeah. But see, look, I'm going to be the devil's advocate, right? Yeah. So they would say maybe you need to get more resolved with yourself. You feel me? Into being a real man. That's a, you know what? A real man is a hot topic and it's a very volatile statement to say. So what, what do we definition? judge as a real man? Yeah, what would be the definition? Definitions of a real man handling their priorities. If you can, if a real man will handle their priorities and make sure everybody around them, including, well, I ain't going to say that, make sure everyone they love is okay. Yeah. They're going to put their priorities first instead of putting their wants first. Because yeah. if you're putting your wants first, then all your priorities are just falling behind you. That's facts. At that point, your responsibilities are going to be left. Yeah, you definitely. Definition of a man, you just got to know. Like, It's getting real skewed at the fact of we got all these communities and shit coming out with like genders and shit like that. Yeah, that's facts. See, it's crazy though, bro. I just found out men can have pussies now. Huh? 
Definitely. Oh, they can. They just tuck the dick mm-hmm. in. No, gang. What? No, bro. What? No, bro. Oh. School See, I live underneath bro. a fucking rock, bro. I'm telling you, man. I be editing and going to work. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, bro, I was scrolling to Twitter one time. I'm like, hold on. This don't look right. Uh, and it, it confused me. I'm like, bro, ain't no way this is a female, bro. Like, full-blown female body, bro. Face of a nigga. You know what the abbreviation is for that shit? FTM. Female trans man. Mm. Basically, niggas they get their dick cut off hmm. and take and take uh, hormone pills. Hmm. Crazy, right? You know, I will say people have gotten actually hurt because of stuff like that. Definitely, gotcha, you know, bro. like that's scary as hell, bro. Yeah, just imagine yeah. like it's like all right, <laughs> you dating this girl for like three years, you ain't never met her parents, and you go to you go to visit her parents, and she they whip out the book, and you're just like, who was that? All the pictures. Is- <laughs> who was that? Who was that chill, little nigga right there? Chill. <laughs> who was that little nigga right there? Yeah. That's yeah. me. What the fuck you mean? That was me. What the fuck you mean? That's me. But I think in that situation, you know, honesty is key. Because yeah, there are, bro. like I said, there's somebody for everybody. There's some people who don't care about that. You know what I'm saying? Nah, for but real. So you have to be able to be honest and say, hey, I was originally a boy. Oh, man. I was originally a girl. You know what I'm saying? That way they can make the actual educated decision with themselves and say, okay, cool. I'm cool with this or I'm not cool with this. But y'all can't just be catfishing and bamboozling people. That's not cool. That's a little bit of manipulation. Ooh. I'm going to be for real Since with Since we on that topic, gang, what you think about, like, basically genderizing your kids at an early age? Because they we're born with two genders. I don't care mm-hmm. how nobody put it, bro. Mm-hmm. We're born with two genders. Mm-hmm. It, it says male, female, or other. Or not even half the time. Well, nowadays it says other. Mm-hmm. But yeah, for sure. Usually it's a male or female at mm-hmm. birth. There's yeah. no other. There's no other, you know? Mm-hmm. So it's just like, over time, there's mothers and fathers out there who's trying to make their kids claim they're a woman or make their kids claim that they're gay gotcha. or, you gotcha. know, things like that. At an early age, I feel like it is crazy, bro. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. That really skews how a person is thinking about themselves, you know, because I think that you should really allow this person because a child is a person. Yeah, we definitely. have to start thinking about it, thinking about it in the way, definitely. you know, allow this person to be who they are and grow into whoever they're going to be. Mm-hmm. You no, know, naturally, definitely. whenever you start putting these societal constraints and your own personal beliefs and priorities onto a person that is clearly impressionable at that time, mm-hmm. extremely impressionable. Mm -hmm. then you're completely steering this person into being whoever you want them to be. Once again, that is manipulation. Definitely. It is. Like, I'm a complete advocate for allowing a person to be whoever and whatever they want to be. Mm -hmm. I ain't got no smoke with trans people. I ain't got no smoke with gay people. Y'all got it. I don't want no smoke. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brad does not want smoke. Please do not get this nigga. No smoke. He is trying to have a music career. No But (laughs) (laughs) But, (laughs) But yeah, I got no smoke with nobody. It's just me personally. I think everybody Everybody should just be honest and upfront. Definitely. Like, I'm sorry. You can't be mad at that, man. To be honest about who you are and what you are and what you want to be, you know, just say that to the world. You know, I mean, it's easier to say than done for sure. Yeah. But at least in the close confinements of your relationship, we're not even talking about to everybody else. You ain't got to scream, you know, I'm gay for the rooftops. <laughs> you <laughs> no, don't got to do that. Yeah, nobody gives a fuck for real, but hey. Exactly. <laughs> but just tell your partner I'm gay. Yeah, definitely. You definitely, feel me? That's the person definitely. who's dealing with you definitely. every day. Or well, whoever you're interested in. Exactly. Every Every Definitely. fucking day. Be honest, nigga. <laughs> Definitely. Honesty. Honesty is a key. That's facts. That's be facts. honest with yourself, too. Yeah. Be honest with yourself. Because if you can't be honest with yourself, how are you ever going to be honest with anybody else? That's facts. That's facts. That's facts. That's how I Have see. you ever had a friend who was undercover gay? Yo, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> that shit crazy, bro. Really? That shit crazy as fuck, bro. Are you about to tell us? Hell yes, I'm about to say that shit, gang. <laughs> so, bro, one of my boys, right? He, he was locked up and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And damn, he ended up just getting out of jail, whatever. Okay. Ooh. For sure. So, bro, was a game banger and shit like that. I ain't throwing no names. I ain't gonna do no. Bo- I ain't for gonna sure. do birthdays like that. Exactly. For you sure. You know what I'm saying? So, fuck around and come to find out. Keep in mind, you, you, you gang, you gang banging now. Mm. Yeah. Mm. All right. Fast. Yeah, you gotta say sure. too much. You gotta yeah, too I much. got you. <laughs> so they fucked around and find out, bro, was uh getting fucked by a transgender. Yo, really? Wait, getting crazy. fucked by and a transgender? I ain't tell you the story, bro. I ain't tell you the story. So yeah, by by a transgender. But so it's not like he was fucking a transgender. No, he was. He was, the, mm. yeah, he was, mm. yeah. Mm. But this is not how we found out, bro. We found out by a gay dude that stayed all the way in the back of the neighborhood. Mm. And he walked up to the homies on some shit like, Yeah, I smoke with y'all. Like, the homies like, you gonna have to smoke your own blunt, though. 
You know Bruh. what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you do your own <laughs> shit. You do your own Bruh, shit. Why are niggas like this? So, <laughs> anyways, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> so nigga get to smoking and shit like that. This at the third, and it was mm. like, bro was like, uh, gay dude was like, was like, yeah, your little strut ain't really your little strut, and he ain't who he say he is. He was like, yeah, bro. He was like, yeah, I, I don't, I don't fuck that man. This at the third, yada yada yada. Wait, this guy I'm said like, this about your homeboy. He don't fuck that man. Yes, gang. And I'm like, Damn. I'm hearing this shit, bro. And when they Damn. when they telling me, I'm like, huh? <laughs> Nah, it's ain't, the fucking it's, it's the look of surprise. Nah, cause I ain't gonna cap, but yeah. I'm passing a bitch to fuck on all that shit. That's all yeah. we talking about getting, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. slid, literally slid this man one of my hoes. Like, <laughs> nigga, I literally I slid this hoe to you, bro. I let you go beat this. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. let you go do what you had to do, bro. <laughs> yeah. And now I'm just like, bro, what the fuck? Ain't no way. Uh huh. So come to find out that shit was true, bro. He said, "Nah, gang." And, and them niggas, bro, them niggas kicked him out the whip, bro. Them niggas kicked him out the they whip. Kicked him out the whip, bro. On the side of the road, man. They kicked that nigga out the whip, bro. Hey, no way. They kicked that nigga out the whip, bro. Oh my god. Basically saying, bro, came back to me on some shit like he got jumped. Bruh. Nigga lied. Nigga lied and was like, "Yeah, bro, they jumped me, bro. They kicked me out the whip. This, that, and the third. Yeah, that was some shit." Wait, so he was lying about being gay and then lied about getting lied jumped? About getting jumped. Oh, so nah, I'm just bruh. like, word. So me being who I am, I own game bang. Shit. Shit, I ain't no banger. Yo, so that shit, that, that's your business. You told the you cameras, get... let you know. <laughs> yo, yo, I ain't, ain't banging shit. Exactly. You feel me? But well, my boys don't just believe I'm going to be on the same side of Tommy. That's how it is. For sure. That's how it is. Yeah. So, bro, when I found that shit out, bro, it just like shocked me because like, nigga, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. You, you could have been hot about that shit instead of just lying your way around everything, bro. That's bruh. facts. So now you got a whole hood on your head. That's facts. And then, not even on top of that, you biting hands that was feeding you. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. bruh, ain't some of that shit I had to beat shit out of, bruh. <laughs> some of that shit I had to beat shit out of, bruh. Wait, know, you beat that nigga's ass? Man, I had to whoop that nigga ass, bro. Why'd this, you beat his ass, bro? This is off of the strength of uh, like, <laughs> see, I ain't give a fuck about you being, oh be, you being who you was, bro. It's just the fact that for one, I'm helping you eat, gang. Okay. I'm, I'm literally trying to help you, like, I'm throwing you weed, money. I'm trying oh, to help you eat, real? bro. Like, uh, nigga, what are you yeah. doing, bro? Yeah, you know facts. what I'm saying? That's like, facts. niggas really trying to help this man eat, yeah, and you just doing bullshit. That's facts. So, okay. We just had to know top of on his head about that shit. It's crazy. <laughs> This nigga still want his hands to this day about that shit, bro. He what? That shit was like over some years ago, too. He want hands over that? Nah, yeah, nah he don't want to fight. That nigga scary as fuck. Uh, scary as fuck, now. First of all, that was a crazy story. It took many different turns. But many. <laughs> many, bro. Imagine how I felt. Imagine how I felt. Imagine how niggas felt, bro. Oh, uh, man. He just confused as fuck, bro. Confused as hell, bro. Man. But, like, yo, like, the moral of the story is, bro, be honest. Be honest, You bro. was over here really trying to help this man through his life, bro. You know what I'm saying? Help this man eat, bro. If you are that close to somebody, bro, please just give them the respect and the courtesy of telling them, hey, bro, like, I don't even roll that way, bro. Yeah, like, I'm going to just be for real with you, man. Yeah. Like, I know you slid me that girl, bro. Like, she, she's a cool person, but I don't like, I don't like that shit. And it's crazy, though, because I ain't want to fuck that bitch afterwards. <laughs> I mean, that's how, it's, that's how it's supposed to be, though, once yeah. you pass the bitch. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that it. That's it. Yeah. Sorry, shit. You can't, like, bring her back. You nah, know what I'm saying? That's, that's weird. Nah, nah. <laughs> Hey man, was she white or black? She was a black girl with freckles. I've never met a black girl with freckles. Black girl with freckles? She was a black girl with freckles. I think the freckles was, was she like, like a red flag skin or something. Yeah. Okay, yeah, gotcha, yeah, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Hell huh. yeah. You said what was the red flag? The freckles. I <laughs> <laughs> think the freckles. I think the freckles. Are a red the flag. freckles are a red flag. Yeah. Why the Definitely. freckles a red flag? Definitely, bro. I don't know, bro. It's just like when you look at her, you, you know how a girl like role plays as a schoolgirl. She gives off that whole vibe, bro. Like, Have you ever role played before? I've role played with a few bitches. Yes. Really? Yes. Really? Uh, what was your favorite role play? Ooh. Pretend about you as a years, teacher type shit? I'm goofy as fuck. So it's just like, I, I don't take that shit too seriously. I'll yeah, 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 yeah. Move, move sure. shit, bro. Like, we. Sure. So I don't do too much of, like, the dressing up part. She does oh, yeah. all that. They do all that Yeah, shit. yeah, so yeah, yeah. So if anything, yeah, I'll probably sure. say... Like you just start doing a scenario type shit. Yeah. 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 That's basically what that was. Yeah, that's fact. I've done that shit before, bro. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So one time I was like, man, you know, trying to spice shit up, you feel me? Yeah. Like, all right, that's cool. How it be, bro. Yeah, that's, that's how it be. be. That's how it be for sure. You know, we gotta be honest about that. So like okay. all right, cool, you know, try to spice shit up, whatever, whatever. Pretend, you know, I'm just a professor or something. You feel me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like the basic bro. shit, but you know, yeah. just something like a like a teacher or something. Yeah, yeah. You want a good grade. Like type yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Go get an illness test. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay. <laughs> By the way, that shit really happens, and I'm so sorry to y'all. Like, hey, it's true. You feel it's me? True. Oh it's my true. god, that shit really happens. But yeah, but you know, sometimes you got to do shit to 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 just keep the shit keep going, the moment going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, keep the momentum going, type shit, bro. Hey, because, y'all niggas spice y'all relationships up for other niggas have to do it. Ooh, Real ooh, shit. because one nigga will do it. One nigga will do it. <laughs> Man, I saw this video, bro, and the dude said he said, "Do not ever think that any girl can't get fucked." No, nope. I don't care. If she got a relationship. I don't care. If she got. Is she married? I don't care. If she exactly. I don't care. If she scream her nigga's name to the wheels fall down, bro. Given the right circumstances, she will get hold. Man, they ain't gonna say no names, but this is one girl. She got a nigga. Mm. Man, look, boy, like I said you better tighten up. Boy. Red <laughs> dang, bro. What's your viewpoint on that, man? If a girl got a, if a girl got a man, is you really messing with it? Uh, nah. I mean, it depends on what that nigga doing. Like, if he over here beating on her and shit like that, oh, hey, shit. yeah, you come through, make your girl feel good, <laughs> man. Bro, that sounds like pity. This I'm like a cook her meal or stew, you know what I'm saying? Cook her meal because you got beat. What yeah. the fuck? I got you, baby. I'm getting long as hell. He's getting long as hell. Nigga, the damn way he's in to put his hands up. Like, that nigga wrong as fuck. Yo, you wanna play? You, you stupid as hell. She over there crying and shit. You gotta wipe her little face. Wipe her little face and bro, shit. Bro, I'm sorry. That is hilarious. What the fuck? That's how y'all do, bro. That's how y'all do something. Have you been in that situation before? I hope not. Just because I hope this woman really wasn't getting beat. I mean, if so, not getting beat, but like she was getting cheated on, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. She was like, I'm tired of this nigga, man. That's a common thing, bro. She was like, I'm tired of this nigga. This at the third. This at the third. And then went from that to be beating yep. that back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't tired no more, is he? He back on it. You stupid. <laughs> he ass back on it now. I'm going to talk to that nigga. So go ahead and talk back to him, bro. I feel you know? bad for them niggas, though. Yeah, Because for sure. niggas like me, if I know, if I know, I don't know this nigga, bro. I'm like, all right, it's fuck this nigga all the way. Uh-huh. I've been there did some disrespectful shit. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. Uh-huh. I ain't too disrespectful, but I probably would type shit. I've probably been there slutted her out. And then, like, once he get once she get back to him, I know she's gonna be causing arguments type shit. Oof. See, that's yeah. a, I know females do that shit, bro. I've had females. I've, females have told me this shit, bro. Like, I swear to God, like, I'll uh, fuck them. Dog them out. Uh, Send them back on their way. Okay. Before they leave, they're like, man, now I gotta go pat this nigga. You know really? What? I swear to God. That like, is so go sad. This nigga. And really, that made me want to, like, be a side dude, bro. That Have made you me really, like, legitimately dude. thought about being a side guy? Yes, bro. But I ain't gonna cap, bro. I ain't gonna, I've been doing that shit for a little minute. So it's just like, son, nigga, we want to love. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, love, you, you a lover, I'm man. A lover, bro. Yeah, I for sure. I love it. I love it, bro. I can't just love on any bitch, though, because once, once you start showing me them flares that you're gonna start changing. Yeah, yeah, that's fact. That's big facts. Or yeah. if you start showing me whole tendencies that my hoes did back then. Yeah. Uh, but see, you've had enough experience to be able to recognize those signs. That's what a lot of men are lacking. The experience to be able to recognize that shit. That's why they get like played like that. I, I guess I got that much experience. But keep in mind, though, bro, a female will hide that shit. Facts. Females facts. hide a lot of shit. That's and why you got to give it time. Yeah, you got to give it time. Yeah. Exactly, bro. No cap, bro. Because without time, bro, you just you just going to dig yourself a hole. Yeah, you moving blind, bro. Please do not yeah, make no. That's why I really don't be understanding something. Sometimes, like when people get married after two years, it's crazy. I don't. Two years is not enough time to me. I actually found out a few girls I know, not no older than twenty, game married. Really? That she was like, really? Jeez, it's a cruel world out here, man. Angle couch. <sighs> You didn't even see their ring? Told me straight up. Damn. Told I can appreciate the honesty. <laughs> yeah, no, for real. I can, pre- I can appreciate that shit. Yeah, but damn, bro. Yeah, and just, see, that's what makes me so scared about relationships, bro. No cap, bro. You know what I'm saying? Not that's even. why I would definitely say guys, or not even guys, but just people in general, yeah. which is really the reason why our relationships are going downhill. But people that have been around or at least seen. And been through that shit. Exactly, bro. Scarred, man. Scarred, bro. Scarred, man. Scarred, bro. Because you see how easy people are. You see how slimy people are. And they'll go right back to their person and smile in their face. Smile in their face, bro. It's crazy, bro. And and don't get me wrong, bro. I'm not, I, I haven't always been that type of nigga where like, I might go fuck a nigga bitch. Nah, bro. That's, yeah, that's, that's definitely sure. not me, bro. For I sure. don't want your bitches. I yeah. don't. I don't exactly. want your bitches. Exactly, exactly. I get my own, you feel me? Yeah, that's but a different type of nigga, like, man. Damn, when you, when you realize how many females are just moving how they move, bro. Yeah, for sure. Like, for example, bro, I had a female text me, says she miss me, bro. How you? All right. I'm not. The, I'm an Aquarius game. Okay. I don't know what fucking tour she talking about. She miss, but it ain't me. What? You feel me? You just texted me on some shit, and now it's just like you posted some 
something, but watch you still messing with your Taurus. Girl, bye. Damn. I, I can't never bruh. take a female seriously out here in Greenville, bruh, because all of them want to do is just play games, bruh. That's, That's all sad, though. Do. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, Definitely. bruh, like, how is anybody going to take you seriously? Like, eventually, you're going to want to be taken seriously. When can you take saying? yourself seriously? You know yeah, what I'm yeah. That's what that's about. When yeah. are you going to take yourself seriously? Definitely. That's how I was trying to say that shit. Eventually, you're going to get old. And that goes for men and women, bro. You're going to get old to the point where it's like, okay, cool. Like, I'm, I want to settle down. Like, I'm, I'm good with some lover shit. You feel me? Because nobody wants to just be fucking forever, bro. You feel me, bro? What the fuck? Like, I'm sorry. I don't know why they try to push that narrative, but that shit is not true. If you get to a point where you hitting the bitches, you just like, why am I even fucking this girl? Bro, yeah. You, yeah. You just need bro. to. You need to settle down, bro. Settle down, bro. Exactly. I've been there, ain't gonna cap, bro. Don't get me wrong, pussy good and all. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, For sure. Most definitely. A delicacy, even. Yeah, like, why am I even? Yeah, you feel me? You feel me? You feel me? And then you looking like, damn, her ass fat and all, pussy good, but yeah. why am I even still hitting this bitch? I need the violence playing right now. Okay. Like, okay. I completely relate to that, where it's like, man, like, I was a hoe back in my younger years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, like, it was not a secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody go to that shit, bro. Exactly. Everybody go to that shit, bro. Exactly. Real shit. But eventually, it just comes to a point where it's just like, bro, like, why am I um, even? Yeah, I'm chilling, bro. Like, um, when it gets to a point where it's too easy, that's when it's easy to say I'm good with it. I'm good. But niggas be, and not even niggas, but people, people be like, yo, it's hard to get that shit, so they <laughs> keep craving and it. They keep craving this, and yeah. you just like, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Like like we said before, niggas have their horny days. Yeah, Females for sure. do too. Yes, for sure. Females Everybody be horny, bro. I don't know. Everybody. Who, I don't know who said that. It just be niggas horny. It's and not. your grandma, your 90 year old grandma? Oh, yeah, she, she be horny. horny nigga. That pussy she, get wet, nigga. She definitely be horny. 90 bro. years old, pussy wet as hell. Oh, my God. But she just can't get none, so she just craving more. Yeah, can't That's so shit. sad. That's one of my fears. Bro, would you ever... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this shit crazy, bro. I feel like you, I feel like you know what I'm headed with this. Yeah, go ahead. How do y'all think that shit feel? Just getting getting your dick sucked with your straight gums, like a bit. Like, all right, all right, would, on, you, would you have sex with a grandma? Miss, would I? Would you have sex with a grandma? I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna say a grandmother is 65 and above. Yeah, 65 and above. You know, that's a good uh, age. 50, 50, 50, 50. 50? 50. I feel like 50, 50 is still middle age. 55. 55? All right, well, I'll give you 55. Yeah. Give All right, cool. Five. You're, you're five. edging there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What's up? It's like, you still got that young skin, but... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Young skin is yeah, hilarious because I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're talking about. I can tell how old a person is by looking at their skin. By looking at that skin, real shit. Yeah, that's real facts. Shit. Or their hands. If you look at an old Ooh, person's hands, it's veiny. It's, yeah, you know? veiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah, it's veiny as hell, bro. That skin is too too tight. Too yeah. tight. <laughs> like, the moment they make a fist, that shit looks swollen. Yeah, yeah like, bro. I can fuck? tell. I can look at that bitch. You're 45. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with it. I can see that 45. I can see it. See but it. anyways, you would hit a uh, 55 year old? I would. I probably, it depends on how she looked though. I probably tell that ass or I ain't gonna lie. I probably would. So y'all, so I just want to know, I, I know just want to tell y'all for all the grandmothers that are listening that will probably come across this video because we're going to go ahead and we're going to put, we're going to clip that part just for you. Come so come to this man right yeah. here. Big bank. All the grannies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the biggest. <laughs> the biggest is hilarious. Biggest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's right here for you. He's specifically for you. Now, mm -hmm. you might have to throw him a little change. No, I don't need no change. No change? Nah. All right, look. It's free. Boy, well, hold on. Uh, I got to put the price on this dick. <laughs> No, I would definitely say, though, I think that as people get older, they're more willing to pay, though. Yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? they're making that shit. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Since Men and women. That topic, bro. Oh, right, okay. You know what's crazy, bro? What's up? How much would you think a female would want us to make at the age of 30, bro, a month? Right now? Right now, like a month. At the age of 30, how much would you think she would want us to make a month? I like 5K. 5K? I'm gonna say 5K. Double that. You think 10K? You think 10 bands? Bro, most females at are 30? at 30, bro. Females are just that de fucking lose no. Y'all 5K is 60K, though. That's, that's, you know what I'm saying? That's still, like, you're gonna, you can take care of yourself. Nigga, what? You know what I'm saying? What do I do with 5K? Nigga, I be situated. It's facts. I don't care what nobody said. It's you, facts, you don't know how to budget your money, man. It's facts. Budgeting your money, that is cool, bro. I'm sorry. You being able to know what to do with money is cool, nigga. That shit is okay. I'm sorry. Like, that shit is okay. You ain't got to be a big baller. Exactly, you ain't gotta bro. You got to be a big baller, <laughs> like, I can make 1,200 stretch, nigga. Like, no cap, no cap, no cap. You no cap. feel me? No cap. So, well over a month. Exactly, bro. <laughs> exactly, well bro. Well over a month. So, yeah, like 5K, man. Honestly, I'm not going to cap with you. And maybe it's just because I'm just at this point in my life. 
I've made $400 stretch a month. I've made $1,200 stretch a month. I've made $1,400 stretch a month. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm making 5K, nigga, I'm going to be for real. You're going to think I'm balling, nigga. Like, you know I'm going to show y'all some shit. Exactly, bro. <laughs> exactly. Show y'all some shit. Exactly, bro. Never I'm going to have a whole investment fund and everything, yeah, we'll nigga. never know. Yeah, never fucking know. So, like, we, we got to really be honest with each other, man. Nah, it, for real. You feel me? For real. Because most people is not making 10 bands. A most month. people is not making 8 bands, bro. 10% like of America back. is making 10 bands. 10% of America is making that right now, gang. I'm sorry. That's just wild, To expect bro. that from me right now. And say even that 30, bro. Bro, no, that's that's not happening. Like, how old are we, like, right now, bro? I'm 21, bro. You 21? I'm 21, bro. I'm 24. 24? Yep. Bro, I got nine years. You got four. Yeah. Four years, that means they expect me. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. I got six. Yeah, Give me that six. extra two. Give me that extra two. I'm tweaking, I'm tweaking, I'm tweaking, I'm tweaking, I'm tweaking. Nigga, how the hell are we going to figure out how to make an extra, what, five bands a month, nigga? That's what I'm saying. Ten bands a month? That's nigga, what I'm saying. What the fuck? Like, what the fuck, bro? I feel like women have their realism bar way too high. You know what I mean by that? The realism bar way too high. For the things that they find realistic or just like way... Uh, okay, I got you, I got you, I got you. But I mean, it's easy there. though when it comes to social media. Like, I think that social media is really the culprit in that. Definitely. You feel I me? Mean? Because like back in the day when our parents and shit like that, I'm more than likely sure they was not expecting our parents, or our parents weren't expecting each other to be making 10 bands a month. No nah, God. bro. They were definitely making like two bands stretch. Two bands stretch. You feel oh, me? God. I was with my mom whenever we were young. We was making 800 stretches, nigga. Like, <laughs> no cap. You get no what I'm saying? So, no cap, bro. Uh, I don't, I don't want to hear that. You feel me? No cap, so, not at all. <laughs> that's not definitely, at all. that's definitely propaganda, bro. And y'all gotta, y'all gotta break free of that shit, man. Just because somebody out there online and they posting jewelry, they posting money, they posting whatever, whatever, nigga, everything can be faked. Everything is probably fake. You get everything. what I'm saying? Niggas can go to Jamaica and be like, oh, yeah, I'm living large lavish. Large. No. Niggas can buy a green screen for that shit nowadays. Exactly, bro. bro. That's the crazy part about it. Exactly, bro. Everything can be fake. I could pay somebody $200 on Fiverr and tell them to make the background of this be a fucking beach, nigga, and you think that I'm on an island. You like, what the crazy, fuck? Bro? What's up? Will Smith proved that to us, bro. That I seen that crazy. video. You seen that shit, bro? I seen that video. It's crazy. Bro, how, like, it's like he literally used a computer for everything. He made yeah. that shit take years off his face this yeah. nigga was this nigga looked like he was back on fresh prince yeah yeah exactly like, Which is scary. Took, yeah bro you when know? they took that shit off everything on his head was just wrinkles and gray yeah exactly I was like word because that lets you know that bro like nothing is really real online bro and I didn't realize it until he said it. Exactly. That was the moment that I appreciated him, though. Yeah. You feel me? Hell yeah, bro. It's like waking the mind up for the people. Exactly. Because we see shit is just like, especially from us being where we are as being regular civilians, when we see a superstar, we look at them on like, social media like, oh, shit, they living their best lives. Yeah, that's facts. You know what I'm saying? That's facts. Or versus them actually showing the nitty gritty what's behind the scenes and yeah. shit like that, what they got to deal with. For sure. Low key, I like seeing behind the scenes for artist videos. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, videos, definitely, because definitely. it's like, bro, like a lot of that shit is not like that's just not cool. I'm gonna be honest with you, like bro. niggas be sitting, there be big ass cameras in your face and shit like yeah. that. You in a room, there's 50 people 50 in the room. You don't have, like, yeah, yeah, you don't know anybody, anybody. You feel me? But you probably paying 20 percent of them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, cap. that shit is not cool. No and cap. so that let me know, okay, cool. That's not what I want. I'm be for real with you. I don't want like a whole bunch of this shit around me. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Big like ass camera. ass shit. Yeah. Where it's like, hey yo, cut, cut, cut. No, nigga. That no. reminded me of that uh, that Offset shit when Offset uh, got that interview or uh, did that podcast with what's her name? That white girl. Oh, uh, Bobby Alpha. Yeah, 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 yeah. She was so uncomfortable doing that shit. <laughs> she was so uncomfortable. Oof. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, do you think that she deserved that? Yes. I think she's been on black culture for a while and I think that that interview was definitely needed I'm sorry that she felt uncomfortable for sure yeah, yeah, because you know nobody wants to be blindsided especially on your own on show your own you show. know like nobody wants to be that way but at the same time like bro like the gimmick that she had, I didn't really like that. No. Nah. Because she was definitely around black culture all the time and like acting like she wasn't cool. Yeah. And that's like, that's not cool because you literally got famous off, off of, of me, black or, culture. Yeah. No cap. No cap. I'm gonna be for real. So Drake started that shit and you kept black interviewers. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> that's basically what happened. <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck it. 
Fuck hey, it. Yeah, take one thing wrong with that shit, bro. People is not really fucking with her, man. And so, like, shout out to Funny Marco. I fuck with Funny Marco. That's where Word? she got her shit from, yeah. Where? Yeah, Funny Marco. No cap. And I want to go ahead and put that out there, too. Because Word. Funny Marco was the one who started that shit. And now he getting recognition because people not fucking with Bobby Athol. So they went to Funny Marco because that <laughs> yeah. was the original shit. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And now his shit going crazy. Like, he just did this shit with Kevin Hart, bro. Shit was shit hilarious. hilarious. I know it got to be funny as fuck. Hell yeah, them bro. Two, them two characters right there are just funny as fuck. Kevin Hart is funny, man. I feel sad because I didn't like his last, his last like, comedy thing. I know thing. what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that shit either. yeah, you know, and that doesn't have anything to do with Kevin Hart. I'm sorry yeah. if you see this. Hopefully you see this because that would be nah, crazy. For real. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but like, hey, but like, that's not against Kevin. I don't know. It just doesn't hit the same. And I feel like that happens a lot of times. Your first shit that comes out is your raw shit. So crazy shit. You feel me? You've been up at night thinking about this shit. Waiting on that shit. Waiting on your Planning time. months. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Play, like practicing in the mirror, all that shit. You feel me? Yeah. And you finally get your time and you can feel that energy. Yeah. But now you done did this shit mm, 20, 30, 40 times. Come on now. That shit stale a little bit. Definitely, bro. <laughs> you know, I'm going to be for real. Bro. I hate to say it. What, one trick pony? <laughs> I don't, ooh, <laughs> ooh. Pony? I don't think it's a one trick pony, but it's just like eventually you got to shift to a different lane. That's what I think. You got to shift to a different lane. The shit that he did with, with Funny Marco, that shit was funny as hell, but it was mad different from the, his comedy shit. Word. You feel me? Because he's not not funny no more. Yeah, he's still funny. He's still funny. But it's just like that shit is played out. That's Definitely, what I'm talking bro. about. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. You got to understand and be able to recognize when something that you've been doing is played out. All right, cool. That don't mean that I'm not, I don't got no talent. I'm still the same nigga, nigga. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? No cap. I just got to go no into cap. something else and put that same talent in that. Damn, that remind me of something my Duke said. She was like, uh, what did my Duke say? Overstand your welcome. It's Overstand like, overstand your, your welcome. welcome. When you get too comfortable in a position, you got to know when to back out or when, not back out, but know when to separate yourself from that position. That's facts. Yeah. Because that's the only way that you can stay relevant, bro. No cap. Because whenever you're going going ahead and you trying to overstay your welcome people gonna feel that they yeah. gonna be like all right cool nah he falling off i'm cool on him for real like it's just like the new wave of music you know what i'm saying yeah no cap though like for example if i was to try to make more music right yeah it's just off trying yeah 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 for I'm sure i'm definitely not gonna get the same <laughs> yeah you know the same yeah background that he getting I'm exactly definitely, exactly nah, nah, just because that's just not so lame you know yeah. what i'm saying but you got so lame you feel me and that's what the thing like everybody gotta find a lane and stick to it and then whenever you done and you did everything that you could in that lane go to another one nigga you got all that fame you got all that success because you that nigga you that nigga you are him <laughs> like, you are him exactly Remember so that means that. anything else that you do bro if you put some more time and effort the same way that you put it time and effort in that other one you put that same time and effort into this one you're gonna be you still gonna, gonna be that nigga yeah you feel me you yeah. just gotta have the courage to do that shit and the energy yeah, for sure. And the for energy. Sure. For sure. Energy is a big thing in life, bro. One thing I live by heart, bro, is that everything in life has a rhythm and a beat. I was literally just saying that yesterday. Everything has a rhythm. Everything has a rhythm and a beat, man. Facts. No matter where, if it's just like the air flowing, that still has a rhythm. Yes. Yes, it does. That's and when you can find that rhythm, that is fucking beautiful, bro. Because life has a rhythm. Yeah, and whenever bro. you get into your rhythm of life, that's when things start falling into place for you. Exactly. You feel me? You feel me? Exactly. That's what bro. I'm talking about, man. That's what I love to hear, bro. Okay. Because it's, it's hard a lot of times for people to understand that shit. I feel like we used to know that, but we kind of got off it. Yeah, you definitely. Feel me? Because definitely. it's not taught anymore. It's not like talked about or anything. And plus, being the fact that us with social media, how easy we are to get thrown yeah. off. See, yeah, when we right. were younger, we were able to feel that. Yeah. We were able to feel the air. We yeah. Able to feel the rhythm of whatever we're doing. Yeah, we were able to feel that and hold it now, on it. Yeah, yeah, but now it's just like when we're we're on a phone, all of that shit is cut. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, you're right. Real shit, Damn, bro. Damn, because now you're putting your focus to your phone. You can't feel the you rhythm of that. You can't hear no rhythm. You can't hear no beats. Exactly. You can't feel no air. You're not realizing the air passing passing by you. That goes back to Mars saying, like, when y'all was talking about the little things, bro, mm -hmm. definitely, bro. That's fact. That's definitely the little things we also have to take in, bro. People look at it, oh, just drop my phone for five minutes. No, take a whole day from your phone and, like, take in what this world is trying to tell you. Tell you. Exactly, bro. Because it definitely has a message. Yeah. And whenever you can go and you listen to it, bro, that's whenever your life can really change. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? 
like people people be moving blind definitely bro. and then you wondering why your life is just fucked up why everything's not going right why you want something but it doesn't happen it's because you not in tune with your own self believe it or not bro it's actually okay sometimes to move blindly you have no choice but to continue to walk with your faith got you it's not necessarily you walking blindly but you're walking so with the confidence of you having that thought like i will get through this yeah you're not blind yeah you know there's a path on the other side mm -hmm. but it's just so you can't see what's in front of you right now okay i got you but you're moving with faith moving with faith i like that i like that. I always got to move with faith bro i'm blindly walking mm -hmm. i'm blindly walking in any direction i'm going to for sure because of the fact of no matter what situation i end up getting into i know i have that thought i have that courage, courage to actually take them steps forward because gotcha. otherwise if i didn't i'm just blind and yeah. i'm just staying i'm staying in the same place yeah yeah i mean yeah. it's like you can blindly walk you can blindly walk without faith you can blindly walk with faith mm -hmm. just know it's better to have it with it than without it because if right. you don't have it with it you have it without it man you just lost looking around not knowing where to go i feel like sometimes as people bro we do so much of searching for what we what we should be doing instead of letting what we should do come to us we end up taking our blessings like that bro yeah because it's like what we want to do may be so much of not what we're supposed to do mm-hmm but I could be here just a damn, just a network, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. For example, I could mm -hmm. be here for the network versus me coming here networking, putting purpose behind it, trying to get people with me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. I for can sure. network all day, but yeah. if I don't have no purpose behind my network, then what was what would it be? Exactly. What would I have? I was literally talking about this yesterday, and I said, the universe will tell you what you need to do in your life. Yeah, it will keep times, giving you signs bro. of what you need to do. When I worked at, uh, as a cashier, right? Mm -hmm. Consistently, people will come up to me. And mind you, these are random people. Every single day, say, hey, I really love your voice. You should do a podcast. Hey, have you thought about doing a podcast? Ev over and over and over again. You get what I'm saying? These are people who don't know me. Mm -hmm. This is the universe telling me, hey, do a podcast. Do a podcast. Because you need to be doing a podcast. Yeah, you get bro. what I'm saying? And that's like, that's what I'm saying. I feel you that. You feel me? I feel that. Yeah, because it's just like, okay, cool. If I were to just ignore that, let's say I were to just, I don't know, eventually, or not eventually, but once upon a time, I wanted to be a uh, coding, coding person, right? I was like, yeah, I really want to be an engineer, et cetera, et cetera. I'm doing that shit. I'm trying to code. This shit was not working, right? It's hard. This shit hard as fuck. hard as fuck. But to some people, that shit comes naturally. Naturally easy. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. And so that shit was not coming naturally to me. My friend was literally helping me get through class. Like, that's the only way that I got good grades in that shit. You know what I'm saying? No cap. If I would have just been bullheaded and be like, nah, I'm going to do that bitch, right? Mm -hmm. Just because of my pride or whatever, then I never would have got to this point. And I would have completely missed out on this life-changing opportunity yeah. to do this. If I were to keep doing that, mm -hmm. I never would have been able to actually get to the success that I actually wanted. Mm -hmm. I knew that I want to get to a point, right? The mm -hmm. success of being eventually being a billionaire, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, and getting up to millions in by whoever, whatever age, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. And if I would have kept doing coding because I was like, my pride was like, nah, I'm gonna do that shit. I never would have got there, but I had to be like, okay, cool, nah, this isn't my calling. Let yeah, me go find something else. Find something different. I exactly. Feel I feel that. I exactly. Feel that. That's and now like we're with here. Me and music, bro. That's yeah. like with me and music, bro. I've been doing music since I was a little boy, like mm. seven. Mm. Like, Damn. I, I've, I was, uh, my first ever step in the music, probably be chorus at church, you know what I'm saying? I used to be mm -hmm. a church boy, I used to be a church boy type Same. shit. Same. Then I moved, when I moved, I wasn't in the church as much, but I, that don't mean the music left me type shit. Yeah. So of course I'm still singing, then I ended up doing chorus in school. Mm -hmm. Went from chorus in school to like doing a little poetry and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Then it carried to me just like, just writing music. Yeah. And now it's just like every time I, well after a while, Every time I ended up hearing a song, I could hear myself on top of it. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Or if not that, I wouldn't even be listening. Bro, there's been times where me and bro would go to a party, bro, and I'd be so damn drunk, I'd be like, fuck, what they rapping about? I'm just about to freestyle and freestyle the whole song. Real that shit. is what's up, bro. Real shit. Real shit, bro. You know, that's a gift, bro. To be it able is. to freestyle, man, that's a fucking gift, bro. It is, bro. Because but, I can write, but I can't freestyle. I can't freestyle yeah. Nah, I can't. I'm going to be honest with I you. I feel that. I think I'm okay with that shit, bro. My brother, oh my God, that nigga, nice, bro. Really? Shout out Guap, man. Shout out Guap. <laughs> Shout out Guap, man. That's big, bro. Great. Yeah. He, actually, he got me on that shit, man. That freestyle shit. I used to not be able to freestyle, bro. Really? Man, I used to be ass at freestyling, bro. Mm. I mean, I'm okay now. I'm decent. I'm yeah. decent now. Yeah, so that, nigga, that nigga opened me up, like, bro. Real shit. Like, I used to not be able to 
get a full verse out without stuttering or like stopping to think about a new verse Got or it, like man. trying to figure out how to get it out type yeah. shit. Yeah, for now sure. Now it's just like, yeah, I flow. flow with that shit. Yeah, I flow yeah. with that shit. Exactly. Bro. I like that. I like that. And that's what's up, man, because you know that that's your calling. Yeah. You, feel me? you can feel that in your bones. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like, all right, cool. Like, I know that I'm going to get this. I know that I got to do this. And, and, by whatever means possible and life will present you opportunities to hell get there yeah, man. you know what I'm saying hell yeah that's what that shit is about bro hell that's yeah. how you know you're supposed to be doing this you real know? shit though yeah and it's crazy because it's been in times where like me and bro I just be me and bro we be chilling and then randomly out of nowhere we end up finding somebody else that make music just so mm. happily because bro, like that, bro musicians gravitate to each other yeah definitely bro no I can cap. say that <laughs> I can definitely say that bro because literally every, everywhere I go or any anywhere he go, real mm-hmm. shit, bro. It's always somebody. Yeah, man, I make music too. This that, and the third, yada yeah. yada yada. Yeah, I'm just like, bro, damn. Everybody make music now, and not even realizing like yeah. you attract. What's it? What's that saying? You uh, you attract what you, you attract to what you are. What you are, yeah. Yeah, that's facts. That's big facts. And yeah. so I can definitely agree with that, man. So look, bro, I gotta get both of y'all in the bitch. Oh, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Oh, definitely. Both, both of y'all in here, bro. Yeah, Definitely. for sure, for sure, man. Definitely, because I ain't bro. gonna cap with you, man. Like, this is what's up, man. And I love just meeting more creatives. Yeah, musicians are the people that push the culture, push society forward. No cap, bro. I will all say artists. that to this. Yes, all artists. Yes, all artists, bro. Whoever you are, whatever you do, bro, you push society forward, man. No cap. And so that's why musicians. are